Hey, Canada's 150th birthday coming up, and so the federal government has launched a contest. They've invited students uh, enrolled in colleges, schools around the country, in graphic design to help create a logo. The winner obviously gets their logo used across the country and some $5,000. Sounds pretty good on the surface, but man, does it have graphic designers across this country ticked off. And one of them is Mark Bussey. Hi, Mark. Hello, Jill. How are you? I am good, thank you. Tell me about this. How long has this been sort of rumbling around, this story? We're only a couple days into this. It was um, back in 2013, however, there was an interesting development when the, uh, the, Ministry, of the Her Ministry of Heritage announced they were doing a new identity for the country in celebration of the 150th, mm -hmm. which is great news. And, and I think it's the right choice. I think that that is a, is a significant milestone and should be marked with, with some very vivid graphics and messaging and, and some branding to, to mark that anniversary. But in 2013, what sort of leaked out was that there were some internal you know, um, machinations in, in the government and they had come up with, without, with no consultation with the outside design um, associations or, or profession, they had come up with um, some concepts and they released them, they were, they le they were leaked. And they were phenomenally terrible. Like they, <laughs> they were, you can Google it, they were horrible. So anyway, uh, since then, the national, the federally chartered National Design Association, the Society of Graphic Designers of Canada, with its headquarters in Ottawa, have been volunteering and, 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 and reaching out and trying to collaborate and guide and assist this process with the government. And you would think, and historically we have been, Canada has been a very design savvy and very progressive uh, design country. We're, we're renowned um, actually internationally for having been one of the countries that really understood the process and the, and the value of, of, of design and identity. And uh, this, this new development is, came out of the blue a couple days ago, just, just set us off our chairs. It was completely un unexpected and um, uh, it's wrong on so many levels, Jill. All right, so you mean the contest that's inviting students yep. to design this. So yep. you can see that potentially somewhere in an office on Parliament Hill, they were like, okay, crap, our internal designs suck, nobody likes yep. them. How are we now going to fix this? Right. Somebody says, I've got an idea. I've got Let's a great idea. Let's invite design students and we'll do a, a prize. Right. And So what's wrong with that? And that, that sounds great, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does, it does. Right? Sounds, yeah. It sounds very much, and to quote Minister um, Shelley Glover, Looking at you, Glover. Uh, <laughs> she, her words are that we we want to engage youth in this this important moment of democracy in in Canada and this mm -hmm. important anniversary. We want we want, and that's I mean, I, you know, engaging youth that is a huge uh, um, goal and a, and a and a and a noble one, and and good good for them. This is not how you do it. Why that not? You, well, first of all. Uh, there's a couple of things we can separate. We can we can peel this back a little bit. This is a very important moment for Canada, with implications if it's done poorly. Um, government is not a charity, and this really smacks of good deal. It looks terrible. Like they're they're looking ten five thousand dollars for just the winner, um, in in a department that has seven million dollars set aside for advertising, mm -hmm. is a terrible terrible. Um, message to the to the world and to Canadians about what what the importance is of this of this moment in time in this process. But secondarily, um, you know, should should students be um, tasked with this or should professionals? Mm -hmm. I don't care. I get it. I'm a design teacher. I understand that this could really, you know, fire up the design schools across Canada. But but the reality is, it's exploitative. They don't understand the process yet. They're forfeiting their intellectual rights. This is a big problem for us. If if a if a twenty year old half baked design student uh, who has no access to the government has no access to the audience has very little access the brief is very generic there's not a lot of room for them to learn to understand to engage a comprehensive identity design process if they were to win um, uh, uh, they they get the five thousand dollars and, mm -hmm. and 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 that's great but everyone else who participates and submits work they have forfeited their work. They are giving the government their work unpaid. It's work for free. It's exploitative. Mm -hmm.
I, it's pitched as a great opportunity, uh, it's, it's which pitched, is often the way these kinds of things are. Crowdsourcing sounds great, right? It's yeah. got a very positive spin, and it's like, look, everybody, here's a carrot. You could have great exposure. You could be, you could, you could have this wonderful opportunity in your portfolio if you if you manage to be that talented individual that makes the the prettiest thing. And that's another thing, just you know. There's, there's a whole lot of ways to judge design. Pretty is only one of them. Mm -hmm. And who knows who this jury is? It's a bunch of politicians. Really? Yeah. You know, the argument I would make that a lot of people maybe haven't considered, I think, is that I think this would be a curse for that designer. That young designer would always be that girl. Mm -hmm. or, or that, that oh, you're that guy. Yeah. Oh, you're, you're the... Same you're the guy happened. who had the beaver chewing the ice cream cone on the right. back of a polar bear. <laughs> right. And then, and you, and so you think about legacy, legacy for Canadians, legacy for Canada as a country international, legacy for that young designer, legacy mm -hmm. for our entire design industry. We live in an era, yesterday we lost 10,000 jobs in the economy. You've been covering on today's broadcast how everything's, everything's in the shitter. Everything is, is down. Yeah. So instead of spend investing in the new economy, the right. knowledge economy, creativity, design, innovation, they're throwing, a, instead of at least behaving like professionals, like a government ministry, and finding qualified individuals to write proposals and earn the right to be invited to participate, I don't have a problem with that. If, they, if, if you protect these young students' um, ability to own their own work and, and pick the most qualified folks, then great. But to, th this, is, this, this, smacks, this smacks of, of, of terrible best practices, and it sends a message to the business community and to all the provincial governments and to everyone that design really doesn't matter. The process isn't that valuable. You know, let's just get some students to do it. It'll be fun. We'll engage them. <laughs> It'll be engaged. Well, it diminishes the whole thing, you know, the it way you It diminishes you're everything I've done for 25 years. Yeah. So tell and, me, and there's a petition, all the designers signing a petition, hoping to get a change. Yep, Canada150.gdc.net. Uh, we launched it uh, 36, 48 hours ago, something like that. We're well past 4,000 signatories, and there's actually an update. The, the National Design Association sent an open letter to all of the heads of design programs at universities and colleges across Canada, and we're approaching a dozen of them who have now formally come forward and said, we are forbidding our students from participating. Ah, oh, interesting. one more, and, hey, way, way to go, Minister Glover. And there's another thing. Um, uh, professionals are banned from this process because the contest is for students, and right. that's great. But all students who have student memberships with the Society of Graphic Designers of Canada, and in Ontario, the, our sister organization, the, the RGD, Registered um, I gotta go, I'm Ontario, running out of time here. They are forbidden from participating. So, so the I, best and the brightest who have chosen to join the guild, the association, by virtue of their code of ethics, are banned from participating in SPEC anyway. I got to go. Mark Bussey, thank you. My pleasure.